Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a very quick video. I'm making this quick just because there isn't really a whole lot to talk about, it's mostly speculation, but it is important enough that I did want to make a dedicated video on the topic. So, here we are back again talking about Security Breach TV, which, as I'm sure you all know by now, is this new website made by Steel Wool. We've all speculated that this is going to be the brand new scottgames.com in a way. Where since Scott Games has kind of been, you know, taken down, it's completely blank, completely black. This is going to be the new place where we find teasers for Security Breach. And so far, this is kind of all we have to do on the website. We can click on the Steel Wool logo and that takes us to their channel, but that's kind of it. I mean, there is a staticky sound that you can hear if you go down on the page, you know, there's a few secret messages here and there. You can turn this button green as I've showed off in a separate video, you can also honk the nose, but that's it. We haven't really found anything kind of noteworthy to talk about. It's just kind of, you know, this is the new website and now we wait. However, an interesting discovery has been made and we might not have to wait too much longer for this new website to be active because people have found in the source code for the website a timer, a countdown that is going to appear on this monitor at some point in the future with some, you know, time that it's going to count down to. Now, we don't know when the timer is going to appear on the website. We don't know how long the timer is going to be, right? We don't know what the timer is for. We don't know how long the countdown is going to take. All we know is that we are going to get a timer on this monitor at some point in the future. Hello, it's editing Johnny Blocks. It's been a hot second since I've been in a video. I realized I probably should have brought this up, which is an image you may have seen a couple of times from people talking about this countdown. And let me make this clear, these promos have nothing to do with FNAF. This image and these numbers, these countdown, these timers, are promotional images for the plugin used on the website. These have nothing to do with Security Breach, they have nothing to do with FNAF. These are simply just promo images used for the plugin that is used for securitybreach.com, the website. In fact, the method that we used to find the countdown in the first place involved going through the game's source code and I believe copy and pasting a lot of lines of code and ending up on the website for the plugin used on the site that has these promo images. So just to clarify, these have nothing to do with FNAF, right? Security Breach isn't coming out on October 5th or 6th or whatever. It's not releasing in a month. It has nothing to do with these images, nothing to do with these timers. Cool? Cool. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because I have a few theories on what this timer could be for. Number one, what I find least likely, it could be a timer to teasers, or it could be counting down the gaps in between teasers. All right, so let's say there's a 24 hour timer, and once it hits zero, we get a teaser. And then it'll do like, you know, 24 hours again, another teaser, maybe this time we only need to wait 10 hours, another teaser. I doubt that since that would be a lot of counting down and quite honestly, a lot of teasers that if we are getting close to the release date for the game, do we even need teasers? Theory number two, it could be counting down to a brand new trailer. I think the weirdest thing about the site isn't the secret messages, it's the link to the Steel Wool YouTube channel, which as you can see, hasn't been active in half a year. So I think the link to the website could hint to a brand new premiere for a trailer, kind of like what FNAF Plus did with breaking and entering, or it could just be a countdown and then boom, there's the trailer. Or option number three, and what I find to be the most likely outcome, the countdown to not just a trailer, but to one of the biggest events of the year, at least for PlayStation. Now listen, I don't want to raise hopes, right? I don't want to set expectations because who knows, maybe it's not going to be in this event. But boys, come on, like, things are lining up so perfectly. We, we're getting something soon. And with a new PlayStation showcase just around the corner, 
I feel like this is a great time to finally show another trailer. So could we see a live countdown to the PlayStation Showcase? Which is gonna show off games releasing this holiday and beyond? Which has developers large and small, whether or not you consider Steerwolf AAA or Indie. I just feel like things are aligning too perfectly, you know? So, again, I don't mean to set expectations, you know, I'm not trying to hype up false hype. Because at the end of the day, we don't have any 100% solid evidence that Security Breach is going to be in the event. It's just kind of perfect timing that all of this is happening and then we get a PlayStation Showcase. So until Steel Wolf say something, I don't know if it's going to be in the event. I would love for it to be in the event. I do think it might be in the event. Because at the end of the day, it's one of two things. Either they are very smart at planning things, finally, Steerwall has some damn marketing for this game. Or number two, we're getting our legs pulled and this is a complete coincidence. But I would like for it to be in the event. You know, if it truly is releasing this year, it's about time, and I don't mean it's about time in the way that people usually say, like, oh, you know, we've been left in the dark for half a year. I mean, it's about time in the sense that it is getting close to a time where you should announce if it's getting released this year. Because if it is, a couple months heads up with a pre-announced release date is usually what you want to do. So if Security Breach gets another trailer on Thursday the 9th in the brand new PlayStation State of Play. Actually, it's not a State of Play, it's a showcase. It's bigger than a State of Play. One could say it's a great opportunity to finally reveal info about one of the biggest games on the PlayStation. I think we have a chance of seeing a release date. Whether or not the countdown on the website is for the event or the release date of the game itself, I don't know. It could be for either. Honestly, I could see it going the countdown to the event and then afterwards the countdown to the release. But I honestly, truly do believe that we are getting close to the release of this game, finally, after more than two years of waiting. And even though right now, right, we have nothing to look at on the screen, and so far we haven't gotten any teasers nor trailers so far, hopefully, dude, it just feels so good to finally have the hype back. Now, I don't know about you guys, again, we haven't really gotten anything too big besides the launch of the new website, so I can see why some people still aren't hyped for the game, but personally, I'm just so happy that we're finally getting something. Because even if it's not in the PlayStation Showcase, the launch of this website and the discovery of the countdown does prove that we have something big coming soon. Whether it's a teaser, a trailer, a delay, which would suck, or a release date, there's something big coming soon. So tell me, what do you think in the comments down below? What do you think the countdown is for? Do you think PlayStation will feature Security Breach? Do you think it's gonna get delayed? Do you think we still have a chance of seeing it this year? I personally do think we're still gonna see it this year. Tell me what you think. Are you even excited for the game still? Thanks for watching. I'll have more updates soon whenever we get new info on the game. Oh, and I'll also be reacting to the PlayStation Showcase on my Twitch channel, which is always linked down below. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.